Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is Hospital Insurance Contracting Part 3. Yes, this is the third part in our series about how hospital systems and insurance carriers negotiate their prices. And today's topic is about the carve out contract term. So let me take you now to a presentation excerpt about carve outs. Okay, next up carve out. A carve out is a specific line item for reimbursement within the bill. And typically this is used for joint replacements or spine surgeries that use uh, implants like rods and screws or pacemakers, which is a, a cardiac pacemaker is an implant or an ICD is an, is an implantable cardiac defibrillator. So people that have had either, you know, heart attacks or have congestive heart failure, that's really bad. They'll have an ICD, which is kind of like a pacemaker. It looks like a pacemaker, except what it does is it's kind of like the outside paddles that shocks the heart, but it does it from inside the body. And it has sensors inside of the, of the heart so that it knows when the heart goes into an arrhythmia and then it immediately shocks it out, the person out of that arrhythmia without the person knowing or doing anything. Um, and then, well, actually they'll know because they'll feel it, um, but they don't have to do anything for it to happen. It happens automatically. Um, and then also for cardiac stents. So you have a heart attack and they might have carve outs where the carve out is there's a line item for the joint itself in the reimbursement methodology. There are line items for the rods and the screws, for each rod, for each screw, there are line items of reimbursement. For the pacemaker, there is a line item of reimbursement. For each stent, there is a line item of reimbursement for each stent. So let's say here, this is a spine surgery. So at hospital A, they'll have builds, build charges of a total knee replacement of uh, 60 grand. Now, they have negotiated, to, you know, let's say the, the overall surgery itself has a case rate of 30 grand. Look, for the OR, for the nurse's time, for the lights, for everything, um, it is 30 grand that you're going to reimburse us. But Hospital A has also negotiated a carve out for 20 grand for the implant itself. So the total reimbursement is the 30 grand case rate plus the 20 grand carve out or 50 grand. Now, as you can imagine, hospitals really like carve out negotiations or clauses, whereas insurance carriers do not like carve out clauses. Now, hospital B for a knee replacement has bill charges of 50,000. So it's a little less than hospital A, but it's pretty similar. And at hospital B, they don't have as much negotiating power vis-a-vis -vis the carrier. So they have negotiated a $40,000 case rate reimbursement, which by the way, hospital B thinks that 40 grand is pretty good. They're like, oh, we're getting a great deal, right? I mean, 40 grand is only 10 grand off of our 50 grand. We're getting a great, great deal, but they didn't get a carve out for the implant itself. There is no carve out at hospital B. That's why it says plus zero dollars. So the total reimbursement is just the 40 grand plus the zero or 40 grand total. So again, at which hospital do you have better savings? Well, you would think hospital A, because it only has a case rate of 30 grand versus hospital B, it's got a case rate of 40 grand. So if you don't look at the, the carve out aspect of that contract, you will completely miss the fact that hospital A is more expensive than hospital B because of the contract. And that is why specifically you'll look at your joint replacements and you will see that at some hospitals, look, a total knee or a total hip is only 25 grand. And at another place, it's 75 grand. And a lot of that difference, it's, it's like a big leap, right? It's not just, it's not just incrementally more. There's like a big leap more between facilities. And that leap is the specific carve out for the, um, for the implant itself, which by the way, the problem here is, is that with car, and, and listen, this is, this, at the end of the day, this probably doesn't happen a lot, but this is where there literally was a cardiologist in Maryland who was put in prison because it was found that he was putting stents in people's hearts in parts of the coronary arteries where there were not significant enough blockages to clinically warrant a stent. And the nurses in the cath lab turned him in and he is in prison now. 
And so why would a doctor and why would a hospital system want more stents to be put in a heart? Because they would be paid carve outs for each stent. They might be paid an extra thousand dollars for every single stent that is put in. So that is where you absolutely had a case of financial incentive altering the clinical decision-making of the doctor such to the point that it was criminal and he was put in prison. So that's an extreme example. I don't want you to think that like all cardiologists think that way. They certainly don't. But that is an example of how carve-outs work specifically for stents. Um, go to the questions here. Thank you. Um, Mahela, are you going to post this on YouTube? Yes, I'm going to. This is all being recorded. And it will, the recording of this will be available on both LinkedIn and on YouTube as well. All right, that concludes our segment about hospital insurance carrier contracting part three, carve-outs. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.